What's going on today, Bobby? Well, what is it? It's Tuesday. Tuesday. Morning. Morning. And we're way more in love than every other day. They say love and hate. It's a close bridge. Very close. Anyways, today's gonna be a very exciting day. Like every day in this bus build. Because it's not like anything ever would go like planned or easy. Or without 10 trips to the store. But we're enjoying it so much. You know, these people who are done with their bus bus and they're like, oh, we're for sure gonna do this in our second bus build. On our next bus build? That's not happening for us. It will not be a next bus build. We love it. We love that we're building something that we're gonna live in. But let's be real. I might do the same thing twice. You're probably gonna have to like. I mean, if you ever want to build a house, I was building this. You can start early. You need those nerves to get through that. Your part. <laughs> Cut. <laughs> Cut. Anyways. So, happily yesterday, we got a new stamp. Woo! You can see. Wow, you can see there was even a piece of channel that is completely gone. That was going here. rested through but now you can walk in and we're getting ready for our second seat ah we drove into a few dead ends here with this bus on the weekend but it's fine it's still Tuesday we still have the whole week so we have um, separate workstations this morning Bobby's gonna do all things layout Hopefully to finally have a layout we're going to go with because we've been switching this layout back and forth having the greatest ideas ever and then just realizing they're not working out that end. Yeah. Riley this morning, he spent the weekend, not the weekend, a few days just visiting his Paul who helped us out a bit, weld in a new stair and um, the frame for the passenger seat. So that's what he's going to deal with this morning. What are you going to do? Um, so today I'm going to be just putting a little uh, rust paint on a new sturdy stair. We got a little bracket we welded on for a passenger seat. Super safe. Um, putting it, some rust safe. paint on that That's too. That's what we welded it. Of course. Yeah. And yeah, I'll do some caulking as well this morning and then uh, yeah. What do you think? I think so. Oh, it's doing it. That's work, man. It's all blurry, dude. There it is. Okay, sweet. No. Okay, stop. Oh yeah, it was good a while ago. <laughs> I was looking at the wrong spot. <laughs> so what we did is we connected 12 volt. We just have this. It's not a. We wanted to use a battery. This is a what is this? A battery, battery charger. charger. Same we thing. collected negative and positive to this. This is usually where you would connect everything to move the seat up, down, forward, backward, anything. And we just took two little wires and connected it. We used actually uh, twist ties. Twist ties. We oh yeah exactly twist ties. 
and you just connect negative and positive. And if I would connect it opposite now, we have a little plan here of like... We reverse the polarity. Yeah, if you reverse the polarity, then it would go forward again. I can't see that at all. Oh, there it is. Mainly because we... We're not going to connect this to electricity, but we need to move it around to connect it to the the ground where it's going to be in and then we'll just like put it the way we want it exactly and then it will just be like that forever because yeah glitchy <laughs> so this is the steel we attached and here are our holes right here and right there that's where we're going to bolt because this is the, our steel frame so this is where we're going to bolt the seat in the back and then the front we have the holes there and there already pre-drilled and then we're gonna put some wood on it, bolt it through the wood to the steel, and ta-da! We're heading to the store now. We have a long list of things to get, and a long list of things to give back. Shopping list for the day. We got all the insulation finally down because we finally mounted our seat. How are you feeling? Good. Good day? It's a good day, yeah. Exciting things happening today. It's Wednesday morning and we're putting down our floorboard. Before we put down the floorboards though, we'll have to just clean up the space a bit. It's um, Overnight we always put all the tools in and a vacuumer and it's just full here. So we're gonna get everything out, put down all of our plywood and finally put down our layout. Let's clean this. Here we go. Nice clean bath. <laughs> there you go. Nice clean bath. <laughs> So right now we are finally finishing the final layer of our subfloor. Final layer, guys. Final We're uh, layer. attaching some 3/8 ply to the top here. Yeah, we went with 3/8. It's pretty thin, but it's way cheaper than half an inch, and that's why we framed out our floor so small to save a bit of money on the wood. Yeah. Yeah, we saved about a hundred bucks just from going from half inch to 3/8. So. Exactly. Also, thinner plywood, more headroom. Exactly, and we washed all away the room, and they said it's way more important to actually insulate the ceiling than the floor, so. It has nothing to do with insulation, though. We have lots of room to insulate our ceiling, because ah, of space. There you go. Because we kept our floor pretty thin. That's right. of our existence is our last leaky window yes and while we were putting actually while we're putting down our floorboards now we saw that it was very wet underneath we some of the insulation well we knew it was leaking there but we didn't know it what rained a lot last night a lot um let's 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 not be frank with the people, Bobby. It's okay. been leaking, we've been neglecting it. We resealed all the windows and this one is still it, leaking. It was just still leaking, we were just like, fuck it, we gave up. But we didn't really give up, we just put it on no. hold. And now it came splashing now, in our face while we thought we were doing such great progress because we haven't dealt with it. Before we put the final subfloor on, 
We gotta deal with it. We gotta deal with this. Alright, so we were telling you earlier about this leaky window, the last one we saw that, and we think we found the problem because we open it up and we look at the other emergency window and you can see here the sealant here is caulked to the upper part of the inside window so we think they probably had problems with leaking here before and that's why it's not attached what's supposed to be and that's on the upper side of the outside part of the window what we can show you how it looks like on the other emergency exit window that is not leaking and that's also up here where the water is coming from so basically there's just no seal right here to seal it up and now we'll just try to like take it off and maybe put it back in place or replace it but we're just very happy we found the problem <laughs> we forgot to phone this We get to film a lot when it comes to doing this stuff. And wherever we do good things that actually make sense, we forgot to get to film. But what we're doing right now is we're installing this seal we found at Home Depot. It, it was just what you said in the boat section or something. Mainly because this was like really weirdly something going on, they did something wrong. Anyways, we're touching this. It's really easy. We hope this is long enough. <laughs> yeah, I'm sorry. Put your cabin. Gavin, your cabin. Name is fucking. Looks really beautiful. Oh shit, what's happening? I think it just needed a bit more pressure. Okay, cool. Alright, that's good? Alright. Yeah. Okay, pull in the... Uh, pull these in. My <laughs> It's in there, right? It's in there, it's closed. Close. We just gotta do the water test, run the water test. That was I don't wanna do that. For the first time something that actually Don't say it, yeah. What? No no no. We gotta wait till it rains. I know, but you know, usually it would be like, oh we gotta go to story game because it's too short or something like it. Yeah. I think it'll work. Me too, but we do have to do the water test eventually. Let's give it a it's second like just to Right now, we are trying to put a frame in our door, and right now there is some angle iron here that has to come out. Let's put it on a weird angle, and uh, yeah, we just need it out of here, so I'm trying to cut these welds and get her out of there. Thursday morning? Yeah, Thursday morning. We lost the lens cap. And it was raining really hard this morning, but now the sun is coming out. Gonna Better be beauty it. day. Gotta make another run to the store. Buy some hardware. Finish up a few projects today. Mm-hmm. Time All for right. fun stuff. Run to the store once again. Where are we going? Home Depot? I don't know, where are we going? Home hardware? Home hardware is a little better. Why? It's got nicer selection, fasteners. All right. What day is it? Friday. Friday morning, look at this guy. Trying to put a door into a bus so we can finally close it again. It's been a tough week. But we're excited and happy to start this new chapter called Weekend. Uh, What's the plan today, honey? We're gonna put out this frame then. Alright, let's do it! 
12. This one's 83. And this one. And it's like 30 gold, but. Well, if we go off that, it's like. Maybe we should go off the step rather than that. Well, maybe we should go off this step. I don't know how it happens, but I always end up with a big mess every day in this bus. Although we clean up the bus every night before we go to bed. But look at this. Lots of tools because we never know exactly what we need. Oh, our shower pan arrived. That's nice. Our solo's in here right now because we want to mount it. And I'm going to take over this floorboard here, which is the biggest one we have, because we're going to mount our propane tank today underneath right there. So we'll take it off and mount it there. got some epoxy here it's very dangerous don't get it in your eyes basically we're gonna use it to put these into the ground here in these holes we just drilled because we got these wing nuts and this is how we're gonna like fasten it on the other side to always be able to take off a propane tank to fill it up and maintain it all right all right it's a long time coming And your Volvo lights lit up green and white With the city's on the signs But you held your course to some distant war In the corners of your mind From the second time around What did we just do, Bobby? A brain tank installed. We're done with it. First text of the task of the day done. Mm -hmm. You can see this is the workstation on top. Doesn't look the prettiest, but no one will ever see this. We'll still have to cut these down. Although yeah. I'm not too sure actually how high. As short as we can go. But then you can never ever move it. It's fine though, right? We're never taking them out. All right, so we'll cut these down, install a floor back. And yeah, it looks beautiful from underneath, very professional. We have lots of, it seems very secure, so we're very happy with that. Should we have a little look underneath? Oh yeah, we got pretty lucky we had this big steel pan from where the elevator, elevator's not the right word, <laughs> where the wheelchair lift was. It's a perfect spot to fasten our propane tank too. 